Hello everybody, welcome to Emily's Cupboard. Um, I just want to welcome you and thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my channel. Um, today I have done a tablescape and it is a wedding bridal shower tablescape. And here we are in fall that in all honesty, there are many people in my family included that are already planning for their weddings for next year. So I have been um, so blessed to be able to be a part of the planning and some entertaining that goes on with that. And I just wanted to show you um, a little bit what I'm doing for a tablescape, for a bridal shower, a um, wedding party, an engagement party, however you would want to use it. But we're really excited when any member of our family is planning a marriage. So let me just start out with our tablescape. Uh, the colors, of course, that the bride is going to be using are the blue, kind of a silver gray blue. And I thought that was a pretty choice of colors. Um, starting out with the blue well let me just take this off first because i always like to give some sort of a little treat to take away uh anytime that i plan especially a uh, tea party um the plates that i used are kind of a, a baby blue but let's see on the back of this it just says really not even a brand there that I can read but I thought it was really pretty a really pretty pattern on these plates next I just took my clear princess house plates that I've had for years because everyone used to go to princess house parties and I'm sure that these are their Christmas pattern but they can really be used for anything because they're a clear plate my Dollar Tree white plates my silver glass chargers that are beaded that are just beautiful and you know what they really fancy up any table um got my teacups here used my grandma's silver flatware silver plated set flatware and then just used my white teacups and put a little fancy spoon there um what my husband had done quite a while back uh, not even anticipating that there would be a, an upcoming wedding, he had made this really very pretty um, table centerpiece. And it is all made out of paper. It is from SVG Cuts. And he gave it to me and he just let me start embellishing. And I just thought it turned out so pretty. It's cardstock. It is just uh, draped in tiny beads. It took a lot of time to do this. I only did the one, and so I'm glad that I am going to be able to use it. And wouldn't you know, when I made this, that it had that silver, gray, blue flower right on the bodice. So, worked out really good. Um, the centerpiece I made, it's ready to go. Um, there will be a lot more people that will probably be coming. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what I was doing. Um, over here, and you know, we have a gazebo, and my husband makes, uh, he makes these gazebos. He's made them for Christmas, for 4th of July, and he made one uh, for a wedding. And there we found the cutest little couple that we placed inside. And it just made a really nice addition to my um, tablescape for the wedding. So, as we go along, kind of made a buffet over here because there will always be an overflow. So if I only have four or six at the table, I can go ahead and have people sit in my living room or wherever they choose. Um, just putting out where the desserts would be, extra plates, a little bit of candlelight, extra napkins, teas, um, just kind of making it formal, but yet, informal because people can just pick up their plates and they can find a nice comfortable spot in my house. Um, my husband and I, when we were thrifting, we found this wedding veil 
And as you can see, it's probably from maybe the 50s, 60s, because I don't know nowadays when you go to weddings that they are very, um, well, some of them just don't wear a veil at all or else they just have a little bit of a sprig of flower or a little flower crown in their head. Very, very pretty. I put up some old pictures, uh, wedding pictures of um, family because I always like to bring that in anytime that I have the young people in our family getting married. It's just always a good reminder that, hey, we have people that they came from and just a reminder. Um, my mother-in-law, my mom, these are not their wedding pictures, but just old pictures of old family members that have long passed. As you can see, one of the things that I had to laugh that my mother would tell me when she would show me these pictures, and she would say, do you believe the size of the bouquets that the brides carried when they were getting married? And you can see, she made me laugh. She said, really? Sometimes it looked like they just went out into an open field and picked flowers and they were so big that they would even cover up some of their beautiful dresses. But I always love the pictures that I'm left with of family members that have passed and that are part of my heritage. Um, we have enjoyed putting this together because it has been um, so much fun knowing that we get to be a part of uh, young people that are just now starting out in their lives. And I get to be a part, a small part, of maybe having a few family members over and get to see um, each other. Family gatherings are great, especially when it's a celebration and when it is a wedding, uh, planning a wedding, it is a real celebration. So here we are in October, fall, that there's a lot of planning that goes into a wedding. And so um, this is the tablescape that I'm doing that I'm real anxious to uh, have family over and enjoy. So I'm just going to let you take one more look at everything that we've done. And I will just step away from the table and I will just let you look. It's really a pretty tablescape or wedding bridal shower, anniversary even. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I would welcome that you would subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of tablescapes, a lot of home decor. Um, just hit that subscribe button and the notification and you will be notified of my upcoming videos. Um, for those of you that are following me already, I thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And until next time, uh, you have a blessed day. And thank you again for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.